Hello and welcome back to Hacks Easy Hacking where I try to simplify cybersecurity. We're back today with another basic mission on hackthissite.org. If you haven't seen video one, I'll put a link to it in the description, but essentially hackthissite.org is a website that allows you to test out your web application hacking skills. It's got a number of missions and today we're going after basic mission two. So, the text reads, Network Security Sam set up a password protection script. He made it load the real password from an unencrypted text file and compare it to the password the user enters. However, he neglected to upload the password file. So, what does that mean? Well, when you input your password, it's going to then compare it to whatever password is in the file. However, as the password hasn't been uploaded, you can input anything, but it will be compared to nothing. So if you input nothing, then that should give you the correct password. Now, this does raise a lesson in sort of password complexity and general authentication mechanisms. If your authentication mechanisms are poorly coded or your password complexities are poor, then it wouldn't be hard for an attacker to gain access to the data or the information that is protecting. So for password complexities, if, if you don't have a strong password complexity requirements on your application, then users can set really easy to guess passwords such as password one or love, as they say in hackers, guard and anything that's easily guessable. And brute forcing web applications is a relatively simple task. So it wouldn't take much for an attacker to guess the correct password with a large word list, provided there aren't protections in place that prevent that type of attack. And if your developer doesn't implement strong password complexities or has broken authentication mechanisms, ones that don't have rate limiting and multi-factor authentication, then yeah, this type of attack is absolutely possible and is something that should be reviewed uh, when deploying an application to production that's going to be available to the internet. Well, that's my thoughts on this challenge. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. If you do, give me a thumbs up and I will see you next time for part three. Thanks. Bye.